How we doing everyone? Mitch here with the first Logic Pro X tutorial on the new features of the new program here. So obviously we have a program here. It was a Logic Pro 9 program and we are and what I did was I converted it into Logic Pro X. Very simple. Just open up your project and choose uh, Logic Pro X as what you want to send it to. And it will just ask you if you want to create a Logic X uh, project file inside of the folder and you're good to go. It'll open up and to the best of my knowledge I've been playing around with this for a little while and everything seems to be like it was. So let's get into some of the other new features. Brand new design obviously as you can tell here. The transport bar and all of the quick uh, navigation is going to be up here at the top. Um, kind of more like a Final Cut Pro Everything's going to be more like Final Cut Pro because um, it's going to be one of the X series, obviously. So whatever. Um, next is go there's going to be quick snap guides for the audio. Logic Pro 9 had a very terrible quick snap uh, for audio and MIDI as it moved around the uh, range window here. Uh, so that's going to be all improved, which is good news. Uh, accurate tuner. So for all of your external audio instruments, uh, quicker and better, faster tuning. Uh, Good news. Uh, auto saves, so you're not going to be losing projects that you've been working on for hours. It's okay, I've been there, don't worry about it. There's going to be a new feature called Flex Pitch. Now, everyone pay attention, this is huge. In the past, there was Flex Time with Logic Pro 9. We can, uh, we can slow down and speed up particular parts of a single audio file. Now with this, I'm going to relate it to a Melodyne or an Auto-Tune plugin. We can take a single part of the audio file that's the same pitch, it'll, it'll analyze it and it will find a single pitch and then you can move that pitch up and down just like you would in Auto-Tune um, or Melodyne. And uh, this is going to be a huge seller for them because for these kind of problems, we would have to go to an external source like those two that I've been mentioning. Uh, so this is going to this is this is huge. I'm sure I'm going to be doing tutorials on this and most everything here pretty soon. So uh, next is going to be smart controls. What this means is we can have from a single interface a control of multiple plugins, multiple tracks, things like this. Um, this is good news because we can do a bigger, broader scope in our mix. Uh, if you want to just mix maybe all of your drums, uh, maybe multiple plugins from a single drum track, stuff like this, we can all do in a single interface. Uh, next is going to be track stacks. Um, that's what they're calling this. Basically, imagine you having multiple drum tracks. Here I only have two. But say you have um, audio tracks, um, one for the kick, snare, cymbals, toms, all these things. What you can do now is condense them all into a single track stack, which is awesome. We can uh, take that whole stack and we can uh, push it to other auxiliary tracks. We can route uh, a whole stack with one route. Um, and I mean, there's just going to be huge implications on, on how we mix with this new feature. Um, also, there's going to be uh, what's called a Groove Master Track. Uh, so what I'm imagining this is going to be doing is you setting the Groove Master Track as your probably going to be your percussion track. All other MIDI and audio files will sync to that beat of that. So everything is going to be on time every single hit. Uh, very, very cool feature. Something I've never thought of doing before. Uh, so also, our mixer is completely different. There's going to be a lot more information being shown in a tighter area, uh, which is all, this is all good news. Um, you can select, open, close, bypass, and all reorder your plugins, which is huge. I hated not being able to do that. Um, but you can all do that now with a single click, which is incredible. There's more useful information inside of this mixer. There's obviously, uh, there's the picture of the instruments. Um, the EQ is brought out a little bit more. Um, the, the fader looks better. I mean, there's just so much more going on here. Uh, routing is reordered into a more intuitive way. So if we're going to send uh, the, a, a track or multiple tracks to a bus, uh, a, through a bus to an uh, auxiliary track, there's going to be more intuitive way of flow, of this flow. Um, so in Logic Pro 9, all these auxiliary tracks were put at the end of the mixer. 
very annoying. We couldn't reorder them, um, but now you can reorder, you can move, intuitive, everything is very nice. Um, and then there's going to be also uh, what's called a gain reduction meter just to analyze your track, make sure you're um, on the right uh, level here and just doing everything right in the mixing stages of your track. All right, there's going to be an improved score editor, a uh, bunch of new stuff going on there. Um, I don't, I didn't use that too much in Logic Pro 9, but I'm sure I'll be coming out with a tutorial on that at some point. Uh, exporting is all new. You can export right to SoundCloud. Very cool. Re export right to Final Cut Pro X. Um, but this doesn't mean just exporting in a, a single AIF file or wave or MP3 or whatever. You can go and export your project to uh, Final Cut and you will still be able to edit some of the different tracks, different settings um, inside of the project. Uh, and then there's also going to be a new thing called a drummer. And if I go, I can create a new track here. What's going to happen is it's going to pop down this uh, little interface here and we can select drummer over here on the right and create. Now this is going to be a complete rehaul of what's going on uh, with Ultra Beat. Uh, I don't even think UltraBeat exists anymore. Actually, it has to because I'm using it. Um, but this is going to be completely different from that. Uh, so obviously, you can create virtual session players. You see the drum kit down here. You can switch easily between your hi hats, your toms. Uh, you can. There's just so much going on here. There's this little inf uh, this little X Y grid, um, so that you can get the perfect hit, uh, sample hit. And I mean, there's, there's just so much going on here. There's going to be all updated samples, uh, kits, everything's going to be new. Um, as you could see earlier, I was just, I'm downloading all of the, the additional content here so we can get going with that train. Uh, awesome. So, more new things. There's a new bass amplifier. Uh, so, good news in that realm. There's going to be more guitar stomp boxes. Guitar stomp boxes, Logic Pro 9, absolutely terrible. So, hopefully, when I get to look at those, um, it's going to be a lot better. Um, and then there's going to be a new synthesizer called the Retro Synth. I'm sure we'll be visiting that at some point. And the arpeggiator is not going to be something that's just a tool that's found in this part of Logic that nobody goes to. Very hard to set up. Now it's going to be at the forefront. I don't know if it's going to be a plugin or what, but it's going to be easily accessible and there's going to be a lot of new features with this. Uh, and actually, Personally, I was going and using an external plugin to get my arpeggiation and don't need it anymore because Logic has it all under control. Killing it. There's also going to be nine new MIDI plugins, a complete new sound library and loops. As you can see, I was downloading those. And the last thing I have to say is there is control with the iPad. I am running this on a Mac Pro laptop. There, I am squeezed for space here, obviously. Instead of having the mixer up, all of this information just kind of thrown at you in a sm uh, small amount of real estate, you can now take your mixer and put it on your iPad and control it from your iPad as you view the arrange window. Um, obviously, you can view here the, uh, the, the new drummer plugin. Uh, just all kinds of stuff going on here that's going to help create and make Logic Pro X better so we can streamline out those those songs get those out to the masses you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying all right everyone i'm going to conclude that here i'm going to be jumping right in with more tutorials so stay tuned thanks for watching take it easy